What's up, guys? It's the Universe, and if you're interested in a little My Little Pony of Quirkster Girls cross between my particular story along with some other cameos of other characters from other things like games and, and series and such, please head off to the, my DeviantArt page because I just got through with 11 pages of this particular special, and I'll be doing more later on. So if you're interested, go there. If you're not, feel free to just hang around for the reaction and not, or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is just a little message, so enjoy the video. What's up, guys? This is the One Media Universe, and this is going to be my blind reaction to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 6, Episode 14. Don't disappear. The cart before the pony. So, man, it's just getting harder and harder to say this. But, alright. For Of course. Before I get started, oh, of course, this guy needs to talk for a bit. DeviantArt, I already put it in, in the beginning of this video about what I'm doing, and I'm going to talk about a little bit about the thing that I'm doing afterwards. It's not going to take too long. It's just, I'm apparently going to be doing a fight between Bill Cipher, Discord, and my character, Icon. And if you guys are interested in that, go over to my DeviantArt to cast in your vote, uh, vote on whether or not you actually want me to do something like this. And then the next poll will be, who are you voting for? Because this will be completely non-biased. If Icon loses, he'll lose. I'm not afraid to kill off a character in this battle, alright? I, I, I will look up all the abilities of all Discord, uh, Bill, and what I can already tell you guys about Icon, and it will just be a legit fight. I have no biases between us. I've done this before with, like, a project that I did in certain, uh, in my high school days. So I'm not afraid to kill off my own character. But if you guys are interested in that and want to see my particular outcome for this fight, feel free to go up to DeviantArt right now and so on and so forth. So, back to my little pony. Uh, I'm going to be doing this episode along with the other sneak peeks of the Equestria, no, uh, uh, Legend of Everfree, because, you know, it's an interesting movie, and I'm not afraid to, like, spoil myself in this, in this particular movie, mostly because I'm not even sure how I'm going to be watching this one, but we'll, we'll find out uh, on the later, I'm actually debating on whether or not I'm actually going to look at the sneak peeks, because, you know, me as a person who doesn't like to look at sneak peeks because of spoilers, it, it, I guess I'll post this out first, and you tell me what you guys want. Do you want me to watch these sneak peeks, or do you want to keep it completely blind for the movie to come out wherever it comes out? It, it's up to you, really, because that's the one thing I want you guys to dictate when it comes to this channel and my reactions. But without further ado, we're just going to get started on the new episode of My Little Pony. Episode 14, The Cart Before the Ponies. What I can get from that is we're going to have carts, ponies, and... Uh, yeah, yeah. These intros are just getting worse and worse every single second. Three, two, one, now. <laughs> oh. Alright, so far we got three more crusaders uh, oriented. Because today we're going to learn about physics! Yay, physics! I'm actually in physics class right now. Specifically, the use of force in energy conversions. Wow. In this case, using mechanical work to convert potential energy into kinetic energy. What grade are they in? <laughs> what grade are they in? That sounds a bit over our head. Yeah, you have to learn a lot of other stuff before you get straight to physics. Oh, it's very Good question. In fact, you'll most likely I'm joking. Physics is important. Tomorrow. tomorrow? What for? Why for participating in the Applewood Derby? Well, okay. That's one way to hype up your crowd before you do a big reveal, surely. For a second, I thought we were gonna have to, you know, think. Stop. Oh, that'd be bad. Uh, very bad, especially when you're in a school. Man. But yeah, it is funny how the physics class, and I'm in physics right now during this quarter. Coincidence? Illuminati. Alright, just gonna throw that out there. Yeah. But, for real though. Alright, so we have carts, derby. This is probably gonna be something like uh, what I know from South Park and any other thing they did, the, like the derby thing. You're gonna have a family member of some kind to help them build a derby, and then they're gonna have a race. And if I have to take information from anything... It's going to be Applejack, Rarity, and possibly Rainbow Dash, or maybe we could see a family member of Chulu. Yay, old enough to do things. Now hold on to your horseshoes, every pony. You've got a lot of work to do before you're ready to race. Hmm. Yeah, but not schoolwork, right? With you guys, come. There'll be a block of apple wood just like this one waiting for you at Sweet Apple Acres tomorrow. Mm. And you've got one day to turn it into a race ready cart. Yes, carts. Don't worry, they're easy to make. I made myself one when I was young. That's a lot of work. Mm hmm. Bl 
luckily you'll each get to pick an older pony to help you. Yeah. But choose one. Because, uh, because they'll what, you have to you do it on your own? Card with you during the race. Mm hmm. I think I know just the pony to ask. Pinkie Pie, Twilight, and Fluttershy. The other three. What? No. Has to be able to finish the race if you want to win one of the awards. I would be surprised if it was so, though. For winning the race, naturally. Most traditional. For the best working replica of an original Applewood cart. Mm -hmm. And most creative. For well, the with the best overall design. Well, it's almost like those three are specified for our three main characters. <laughs> All right then, class. You've got a lot to learn if you want to build a race cart. Yes, learning. I knew there was going to be a catch. Yeah, learning in a school. Oh my god. <laughs> These ponies. What? Yeah, I know all about them. When Pony Bill started natural. the derby, they decided to use the wood from our apple trees for the carts. No, oh, your apple trees. Sweet apple acres ever since. <laughs> I just think these old carts look so cool. But I guess you and Applejack will probably... Just because it's true doesn't mean you have to flaunt it out. Huh. The apples usually do, but honestly, I'd rather build the fastest cart there is and win the race. Hmm. I think one of y'all got to beat. I'm pretty sure and Rainbow Dash will take that award. Yeah. You know, I race around so much on my scooter, being the fastest isn't such a big deal. Maybe I'll try to make the wildest looking cart I can think of. Okay, so they're uh, searching out for different dynamics from what they do. Totally win the award for fun. You know, that thing they were doing the entire time to get their kid mark, whatever. <laughs> Sounds like we're all gonna try something different. I can't wait to tell Applejack. Let's get to it. Go Crusader! It's happening to know you're still Crusaders even after you have your key marks. It's so great to see that. It's still going. Of course I'll help with the Applewood Derby. I want you to have as much fun as I did when I was a villain. I haven't mentioned how much I love her house. Still has a Derby too? Sure. Practically every town in Equestria has one. I still remember racing like Cloud Ooh. Guard. Flashback. This is so awesome! That's actually legitimately... Interesting. So she she's need for speed wherever she is. You want fastest cart. <laughs> Obviously. So what do you say? Will you help me make my race cart? Help <clears throat> you? I'm all over it. I've got time. Of course she is. Just she's your not sister. Don't worry. I'm gonna continue to do that. It's my head cannon. I don't care. <laughs> um, what are you looking for? The blueprint for my derby cart, of course. I'll have to change it a little because this race is on roads, not on clouds, but mm -hmm. your cart is going to be amazing. Um, okay, Rainbow Dash, thanks. How awesome. All right, I wonder how she's going to... Okay. Team, how could anything go wrong? Besides everything, she's no problem. If you want to work with your big sis on your cart. I mean, the Applewood Derby did start on our farm. I know. Well, I she knows the history. I'm proud to help my little sister take the prize for most traditional. Most traditional? No, actually. Something else. Like fastest? Oh, I see. Okay. I see the conflict. Apple Bloom, things aren't like they were in the old days. The fastest cart now has got to be slick and modern. Exactly. No. The Apple Bloom is most traditional. We have since the Derby started. But why do you have to keep that all the time? Because it's something different? Some apple barrels, and I'll show you what an Apple family cart should look like. Of course. I guess I do have a family tradition to uphold. Of course, family tradition, because you know we never broke any of those during the time of any of this series, right? Wow, uh, Rarity. And I do so wonder what she's gonna over excess of. I'm just itching to write an old wrong from long, long ago. Mm. I designed my own card when I was just a filly, and I was positive I was going to win the prize for most. I see you met your giant rock before then. <laughs> After the fact, I mean. Second. It's the worst possible thing. Derpy all the way, buddy. Derpy all the way. You cannot mess with her. Destruction is upon you. And the race card audience wants big. Go. That's hilarious. Derpy will be the harbinger of your destruction. <laughs> Please let that be a thing today. Of course. Thinking of something more traditional? 
Okay, well. Well, here's the thing they could do. Switch ponies since they seem so adamant about what they're going to be doing. Instead of, you know, trying to change their already made up minds. The day as is me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up at 3 o'clock. Mostly because I don't go to sleep, but... When did it become your cart? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. But with a dip. Yeah. Pronoun. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm sure. Because, you know, that has never happened before in any scenario. At least one of you. <laughs> At least I'm the only one who thinks that way. Thank you, Skooloo, for confirming this for me. Thank you. There, there, there she is. There she is. I, I was getting rusty before in the last episode, but I'm getting better. My eyes. Oh, by the way, I'm fine for my second seppuku. Brothers, you get that joke. Congratulations. Keep at what you're good at. A true fact. Putting a racing stripe on anything makes it go faster. True fact. Scratches. No time. And who would want to redesign something that's already perfect? Great older sister mentality there, Applejack. Okay, so I sketched Not seeing the obvious hints that she is giving you. The fringe is not exactly big, and that yellow is the least bold color I can imagine. Well, it doesn't have to be yellow, but I really do love the old timey style, like this. As they say. And <laughs> it was one thing to lose as a filly, but can you imagine if I didn't win the most creative now? Ponies might stop buying my couture. But we're okay. supposed to be doing this together. You're sure. <laughs> In fact, we just finished. <laughs> I need to see this. I need to see. I know. You're speechless. I, 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 I. Big and bold. I don't know what is. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see nothing aerodynamic within this. Wow. Okay. It's like it's it's, 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 it's the problem is so easily. It's like it's so easily solved, but I can see why they can't just do what I. 
and do what I suggested because these are their sisters and they respect the, them in their own particular light. They can't just say like, oh well, I'm gonna just work with this other person. See that? That's an impressive amount. That's a, what? I, did, I got okay. <laughs> Magic. I know she's used to it by now, but it, it has been a while. It's been like a long hiatus to me. <laughs> right? This is a nice little montage of what we want them to do and what they uh, seemingly don't. But, you know. It's gonna be interesting how they... Wow, I like, I like that one. <laughs> you don't know what I'm pointing at, but... I can't really explain, but I like it. <laughs> Rarity's definitely made the biggest, boldest cart any pony's ever seen. What? Hmm. Well, Applejack's built something so traditional, it's practically an antique. <laughs> it's like she just pulled it out of the era. <laughs> There's no talking Rainbow Dash out of making the fastest cart in Equestria. Doesn't hmm. look like any of us ended up with what we wanted. Nope. But I'm sure our older sisters know what they're doing, right? Yeah, in their own right, right. yeah. And even it's not for you guys. <laughs> exactly what we had in mind, it'll still be fun to drive them to the finish line. Sure. This is all of it. <laughs> yeah. Remember, have fun with it. Hey, you kids. Good luck tonight, and have fun with it. Can you shake a leg. There's only one seat left aboard this creative masterpiece, and it's just for you. Woo! Whoa, ponies, wait for me. This traditional cart handles at the exact perfect pace. Slow. Very, very slow. I mean, Tank could beat that if he felt like it. <laughs> Speaking of Tank, I miss Tank so much right now. Hmm. Derpy, destroy. <laughs> destroy! Now they're gonna drive them? I know they were all excited to help, but I don't think they're really... This is going too far, yeah. We better hurry I guess. if we want to be a part of this race at all. Oh, hey, cheerily. Oh, okay, you look, look like a cheer leader. And, uh, usually the younger ponies I can see the sniper rifles coming right now. <laughs> Mm. Ooh. I don't like that. <laughs> Actually, I don't like. I, I really don't like that positioning. No. On your marks, get set, go! Jeez. And of course. <laughs> Come on, it's not even a bit. Please. Oh wow, musical number. Okay. Besides, everyone knows a real runner. Man, they're even taking over this episode. Wow. Yeah, no, I get those turns though. That's good. <laughs> but I'm very proud of that joke. Thank you very much. Hey, Doctor Who's, how are you doing? <laughs> Even Derby's not having this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you still have a chance. 
<laughs> That's determination is within Derby's face. I love it. That's dangerous. That wheel's not. I I don't know what kind of knock that is, but I know. That's just straight up like. <laughs> Everyone survives this! Ting! Oh, my beautiful swan card is an ugly duckling! And my old hmm. time card is a rotten tooth wreck! No, oh, let's face it, it all would have been like that even if you bumped you one rock. I, push my card across, right? I guess. If you want to be like that. Well, yeah, not, yeah, well, yeah, kind of, oh, wow, are you in? Yes, well, I suppose we might have gotten a teensy bit carried away. Just a tad. We wanted our help. We did. We wanted you We didn't help. want you to take control. But we all ended up with carts that are what each of you wanted. Mm-hmm. Well, why didn't you say anything? You've all what you mean? before. I just figured you knew best. Plus, it's hard to speak up to older ponies. Oh, I think mm. we understand that. But you must yeah. think that older ponies automatically know best. And we probably Unless you're Celestia. A job of listening to you. Uh, Even Celestia probably isn't the best person to listen to. Apology. So never mind. I'm doing my best not to say the joke again, I'm sorry. I think that's a wonderful idea. But maybe the older pony should sit this one out. Mm. Thanks, Yay, buddy. everything happens. Whoa. Creative, right? <laughs> cool, Phoenix. I know it's not traditional, but it sure looks best, don't it? Yeah, I even like how he still keeps you all styles. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that yellow fringe is rather bold after all. And that still looks really good. Thanks, every pony. We couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. I like how they look like they have oil and stuff on them when there's no oil. Unless I'm, I'm missing something here. <laughs> it could be dirt. I know it's probably hinted as dirt. But it's like how it looks like there's oil. Darn it. Everyone would have stomped, though. Just saying. And it's probably best keeping all the grown ups on the sidelines. But what yeah, it's are dirt. supposed to do now? I think I have an idea. I don't know, sit back, relax, and watch the race unfold or something. I don't know. Much better. Honestly, I'm not sure why we wanted to race those cards in the first place. Seriously. Hmm. Past events. This is the most relaxed I've been all day. There we go. Still trying to see. Like, yeah. <laughs> Sweetie Belle at the, at the far end. But I like how she's still enjoying herself. It's not about winning, it's about having fun and doing what you love. Lessons. Morals. My Little Pony. Buck. Mm. I like that little end part is still showing how much Rainbow Dash cares so much. Oh, I just love it. But, in any case, this episode was great. Ah, darn it. Yeah. Yeah, that's broken. That is broken. That's, wait, no, it's not broken. Okay, never mind. Well, no, it's, it's broken, but it's not broken to the point where it's not easily fixed. Okay, never mind. Right, let's just go on uh, uh, with the end review. That wasn't supposed to happen. And yeah, uh, okay. Come next paycheck, I'm getting new headphones. Uh, <laughs> uh, this episode was good in the accounts of more... Well, I guess I'm going to say it's good because the character development 
He's always been there when it came to My Little Pony. And to me, the more character development there is, the more they just reiterate how great these characters are. So it's not like new character development, it's just straight up regular character development that isn't supposed to be like taken as this is the thing they need to learn from the very beginning of their lifespan, you could say. Because you already have to respect between the, the between his characters, and now you had the character interacting in the way that they wanted to, and and you could clearly see the dilemma from a mile away, like from the very first confrontation of this topic. So yeah, and, and again, with my uh, solution, again, they wouldn't go with that solution because they wanted to do it with the ponies that they wanted to do it with. So I completely understand that. I mean, like, I'm not gonna trade in my mom for another person's mom because their mom has the same ideal that my mom doesn't have. That'd be really, really, really not good, at least on my end. <laughs> so yeah, put that scenario in your head, and that's how that's how that pretty much goes in this in this topic. Uh, as for the episode as a whole, it's just an average episode. Nothing too big to really go off on, and yeah, unlike the last episode, I like how the last episode really accumulated, like, good development between a character that we won't be seeing again, or if we do, not for much, kind of like any other, uh, any other side characters that we've seen, but he was a good, he was a good addition. And yeah, it, there's not much to talk about this episode for. I love, just, ugh, darn it, I, ah, doing these other reviews are getting harder too. But mainly, just like these three hanging out with uh, with the CMC, and that's just great. Any episode with that is always a good episode. Like the other episodes, when it comes to like, uh, uh, darn it, uh, the, the one where Scooby has her nightmare dream, because these these names are starting to get jumbled up in my head. But I know it'll come to me later on. In other episodes like that, I just like the development between the sisters. And the third sister that is technically her sister, but not actually her sister, that I pretty much already debated about in the very beginning of my reactions. You guys were like, yeah, 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 whatever. But, okay, good episode. Not fantabulous episode, but great episode. Good episode, nonetheless. So, yeah, uh, to talk about uh, the Pokemon thing, uh, for those of you who still care about those particular reactions, me getting into the Callus League is now open, considering the first episode to the Cast League has been subbed on the website that I have. However, I do have a 30 minute long talk about me talking about Pokemon, how I was a fan from the beginning and what led me up to this now. If you guys are interested in watching that, you know, it'll be music and stuff and I can probably even speed it up if that's a thing I can remember to do when I'm on uh, Sony Vegas. Uh, I can do that so you know my stand of where I am when it comes to Pokemon because I, this isn't a Pokemon channel, this isn't the, like, this isn't even specifically a My Little Pony channel. Considering that my now my new name is now Do You Want to Be the Universe, literally the universe is the limit for me of what I can do and watch on this channel. But it's mostly about what I mostly watch because if I still had Dan Versus I would upload those back up in a heartbeat, Gravity Falls still, those things too. Anything, it, it, this is an Omni channel. I'll react to anything and I get my hands on and I feel like watching. Pokemon being one of those and I really want to see how Ash handles the Callus League and how the series will end. So, uh, so on and so forth. And the things I'm doing right now on my DeviantArt, man, I am just jumping all over the place. I'm like, I, I, I ditched the main story to do some side stories. The side stories need to be ditched so I can do the Ken side story. Uh, Ken's birthday side story. Now I'm doing a death battle between Icon, Phil Cypher, and Discord. I'm going all over the place before I actually get back to the main story, which is still planned out all the way through. I just have other things I want to do. It's just like those, those sort of things. I'm even thinking about doing another, like, story story with, like, new characters and stuff like that. But that's, that's, uh, something to, uh, think about later on. But, yeah, this is Do You Want to Be the Universe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Particular episode. Sorry for the uh, like interruption at the mid, in, yeah, somewhere in the episode there. People talking, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.